What is the overall energy for the sign of Scorpio? Just keep in mind the bottom cards, they're paired with the top cards. I'll be going through the past, present challenge and outcome. So Scorpio, in the recent past, we have the King of Pentacles. Now this speaks of authority, tradition, and success in money matters. Now when this card appears in a reading, it's a sign that now is not the time to try to be a maverick. Now is a time to follow the established way of doing things. Go by the book. Now, if this stands for actual person in your life or a, or a male figure, because this card is the king, uh, it should be a male figure in your life. Uh, if it is referring to a person. It will refer to someone or this male figure who's very masculine. Uh, now he'll probably have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. Uh, just know that this man is one who you can believe in and trust in absolutely. And that would have been in the recent past, and it's paired with the Empress. Now, with the Empress, well, the Empress does not play by the rules. Just know that. She has her own way of doing things and her own ideal of what is right and what is wrong. Now, that doesn't mean that she'll always get her way but she's a reminder not to ignore your creative, intuitive side. She signifies coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. There are many types of wealth and riches in life and money is only one of them. Now the Empress can encompass any or all of them. And that could have been you in the recent past. Now we move on to the present. We have the Ace of Wands. Now this indicates new beginnings, usually very positive new beginnings. Now the Wands, they're in the realm of accomplishments and are often generally related to work or career, but it doesn't have to be. It could be home or family but this card indicates work and career. So if you are having a difficult time, just know that things are very likely to be getting better very soon. Uh, this card, it depicts upbeat, optimist, optimistic, and being hopeful about your future with a very good cause. So you are more than likely to be feeling quite energetic and positive at this time. And if you're not, you will be very soon feeling that way. Now, keep in mind the aces, they also tell us that now is a really good time to start something new. And this card is paired with the page of wands. Now, with the page of wands, people are usually warm, ambitious, and usually high achievers. If this is not an actual person, the Page of Wands, it will indicate the energy of ease. And, and the energy of ease, distraction. So you need to try to stay focused. Now, this card also indicates that things you started some time ago, they're starting to come to life. They're starting to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, and new ideas. Now the page, it brings us positive energy, but we must supply the follow through. We must follow up with what we're doing to see results. And with these two cards paired together, they're both about new beginnings, new adventures. Now with the Ace of Wands, they're po very positive uh, new beginnings and um, you could be having a difficult 
time, or if you're having a difficult time, just remember that things, they'll be changing, taking a turn for the better very soon because this card is about upbeat, up, upbeat, optimistic, and and being hopeful about the future with a very good cause and um, very good reason to be. And it's paired with paired with the page of wands. Uh, whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to start, it's about to come to reality, come to fruition very soon. So that's going to be in the present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have the Eight of Swords. Now you may be holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future or because you're weary, you're afraid of getting hurt by a new situation. Uh, now this could be for no reason at all. So what you need to do is think through what it is you're afraid of. The truth of the situations they're probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. And the Eight of Swords is paired with the Chariot. Now the Chariot, it will indicate a lot of energy, but it's not, it's not a free-for-all energy. It's, it's controlled energy. It has a goal in mind. So you're more than likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come to life. Now, this card, it points to just determination and ambition. It's about getting things done and testing and proving that you've got what it takes. It's also a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind and give it your best shot. Now with these two cards paired together, the Eight of Swords, you're holding back out of fear or afraid, or you could be afraid of getting hurt. Now just keep in mind, it's probably for no reason at all. You just need to think things through because it's probably much less frightening than your, than your mind is making it out to be. And it's paired with the chariot. Um, once you release whatever you're fearing, uh, go ahead and move forward because the chariot is about your hopes and dreams and being willing to make them come true. But it's going to be hard to do that if you're fearing or you're worried. So uh, it's important to release those fears because, uh, like I said, it's much less frightening than you're making it out to be, and it's, any fears are probably just all in your head. So move forward because the chariot is there. It's letting you know that now is the time uh, it's a sign that you should move forward once again with whatever you have in mind and you need to give it your best shot. And that's going to be the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. We have the hangman. Now this shows that you're at crossroads. You're at a crossroads. Uh, one with only two options. In or out, up or down yes or no, you probably find yourself very much wanting to do something but having no idea what it is or how to do it. Now if that happens, it's a clear sign that you should stop, relax, look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations, people and things. Now also keep in mind it's possible that there's an outdated attitude or outdated way or wish that you need to let go of. Any sacrifice that you make will open up your life to something even more positive than what you're letting go of. 
So all in all, this should be it should be a thoughtful, reflective time. Uh, particularly if you are willing to look at it or look at if or how you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. This card is paired by the Knight of Swords. Now this card actually brings a fairly upbeat and cheerful energy towards you. Now the Knights, it can often mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. Uh, the Knights also points to your physical and emotional, spiritual being at a peak. Your spirituality, energy being at a peak. Also, if you're waiting for news from someone or something, as you can see by the picture, on this card, uh, if you're waiting for that news, you're very likely to like, enjoy what you hear. The Knights of Sword, it can point to lots of activity, uh, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. You are unlikely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you, which is a good thing. So you're going after what your heart desires. With these two cards paired together, the hangman, you're at a crossroads. You're not sure which way to go. Just stop, relax, and look at uh, ways that might... Well, stop, relax, take a look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control certain situations or things. So, it's paired with the Knight of Swords. Now once you let go of anything that's holding you back because you're feeling at a crossroads, the Knight of Swords, it brings you positive messages, positive news. Possibly someone desirable seeking you out uh, positive things like uh, whatever you got accomplished is is working out and it's uh, making a turn for the better. Uh, but you have to remember to go after your heart de your heart desire right now. Your heart desires go after them right now because um, you'll be feeling charged up with a lot of energy, and you're not going to feel like waiting for anything to come to you which is a good thing and that's going to be the outcome so scorpio i hope this resonated as you know general readings they don't always resonate with everyone then again if you like this reading please like subscribe leave a comment if that's what you like to do i thank you so very much for watching and have a great day